I want to thank you all for coming. Cindy Sheehan for Governor 2014. Let's hear it! My name is Andy Kahn. I'm Cindy's campaign manager. And the reason that I am here with her is because Cindy motivates. That's what she does. She motivates. For the last eight and a half years, she has walked her talk. She is non-stop 24-7 as an anti-war activist, as a social justice activist. And you know, when Cindy asks you, here I am, I'm on the streets, why aren't you? You really have to take a minute and you have to think, why am I not on the streets during these tumultuous times? So without further ado, I introduce you to the next governor of the state of California. Big round of applause for Cindy Sheehan. Thank you so much. Um, again, I want to thank everybody for coming. And I want to thank Andy for meeting me in Davis and riding uh, here on the bike. You got to love a campaign manager that when you say, I think we should ride our bikes to Sacramento, he goes, okay, do you have a bike I can borrow? And so that's pretty awesome. And I just rode my bike from Vacaville, California to Washington, D.C. from April 4th to July 4th because we really believe in in the, co in the environment, and I'll talk about it in my speech. And also, I heard during the last press conference something that is a, an issue that will be near and dear to my campaign is this prison industrial complex and shutting it down. But um, one, of the, one of the people said that we need to stop this governor. And I was like, yeah, and we're the people to do it. Let's stop this governor. Let's bring people power back to Sacramento, not corporation power. So here's my formal statement. Thank you. I'm here on the steps of the Capitol building to announce that I'm running for governor of California in 2014 with the Peace and Freedom Party. One of the goals of this campaign is to break the stranglehold on this state's politics by the two parties of, by, and for the corporations and the 1%. Because I am devoted to improving the lives of the working and poor classes and protecting our precious and compromised environment. But why am I running now? First of all, I believe that politics are local and that change should come from the grassroots. And a state executive should be more accessible to the people than is a federal official. Should be. That's what this campaign's about. Secondly, and more importantly, I'm running because I'm exhausted with the struggle of living in a state that puts the bottom line of corporations above the needs of citizens, that puts prisons over education, that puts balancing the budget off the back of senior citizens, students, and the physically and mentally ill. And it puts, it puts balancing the budget over healthy job creation and bigger expanding the social safety nets. The people of this state need education, jobs, and health care. Not more empty promises and pandering to the wealthy from Sacramento. I got in a car and I rode my bike here from Davis because I know that it's past time that the practice of ruining our environment by fracking and other disastrous forms of energy extraction be ended. The sitting governor has received the maximum contribution of 27200 from his buddies at Occidental Oil. I would rather have 27200 people, individuals, send me one dollar each because I will work for them, not Big Oil or the other moneyed interests. As if we needed more proof, Fukushima has terrifyingly, terrifyingly demonstrated to us that nuclear power has the potential of ending life on this planet. The nuclear plants in our state are super vulnerable to be destroyed by earthquake and or fire. They must be shut down. Yeah. This state is in urgent need of expanding the use of clean, renewable, and sustainable energy production and also to invest, and this is important, in protected bike and pedestrian lanes with better, cheaper, and more comprehensive public transportation. We have the resources to do it. 
During the Great Depression, California socialist and author and intellectual Upton Sinclair ran for state governor on the platform of End Poverty in California Epic. And Cindy Sheehan for governor will go forward with our Epic campaign to do the same and to also establish peace in California, end the prison industrial complex, and empower people instead of corporations. This is our epic campaign. Cindy Sheehan for governor will also put the restoration of our indigenous cultures at the forefront of this administration. This state has an appalling record regarding our first people. And as descendants of the colonizers, we need to recognize this fact and empower our first peoples to take a leadership role in the recovery of our state. The state that I was born in and love has never had a female governor. How could that be? How could that be? We've only had one person of color back in like 1850. He was a, a Mexican named Pacheco. What is this? Our country has been run to the ground by this uh, patriarchy. It's time that a woman-driven people campaign work together to rebuild this state to what we can be. You know what I think our hardest challenge is? Besides this being a big state with a very diverse population, which is a challenge, but also something that we can attract, our biggest challenge is going to be to convince the people of this state that I'm just not another bullshitting politician like Jerry Brown. Yeah. That when I come to Sacramento, I mean it. I mean what I say, I say what I mean, and I live the life that I say. I have surviving children and I have grandchildren and I've been a peace and social justice activist since my son Casey was killed in Iraq. I live here in this state, I struggle with the people here, and I'm dedicated to working for a better life for my surviving children, my beloved grandchildren, and all the people of California. And this is the last part of my formal announcement. I'm not asking for the voters of California to support me. I'm asking for the voters to support themselves, their families, their communities, and this state by voting for true change and putting our hopes in each other where it belongs. California can lead this nation on the road to a true working class renaissance and environmental recovery and we're the ones to do it. Thank you. Cindy2014.org if you want to contribute that dollar. 27,200 people, give us a dollar. Let's get kick this campaign off. Thank you. Yeah.